Increasing number of robots globally, the competition for the best robot in the industry has been strengthening, calling out for further developments in the technology. Today's video will also be about two such robots that have been very competitive in recent times. Their work and the technology imparted in them have been remarkable and incomparable with others in the market. So ladies and gentlemen, allow us to introduce you to the comparison video of the two engineering marvels of this world, Amica and Sophia. Welcome back to Robot Future. We make videos about robots, artificial intelligence, and the future, so make sure to like, subscribe, and stick around in this video. Now as you know, technology is always very intriguing, and what is even more interesting to think of is the manner in which the thought behind the new technology could have come up. The robots coming out of this technology are completely relatable to what a person could be executed daily in the future. These robots are crafted to ensure maximum comfort at all times. This requires the technology to be developed enough to sustain the dynamicity that is normally seen in the human world. Another major advantage that such robots with superior technology have to provide one with is the fact that one does not need to refer to user manuals to start interacting with these robots. Let's start with Amica. The application of the concept of artificial intelligence coupled with the latest hardware and communication apparatus has ensured many developments in the robot. The most important part of the robots, generally, is the system involved in the process of vision for the robot. Having the robot means that the robot will then detect faces and move around as when prompted to do so. The robot will also be able to ensure that it detects an object in the most relevant manner to ensure maximum efficiency and accuracy in the data being accumulated by the sensors embedded into the same. The best part is that these changes in the environment can also stimulate a movement in the robot to alter its position and favor the external circumstances. One of the most viral features that Amica has is the emotions that it is able to project along with the naturality in the movements. It didn't take a long time for the robot to become a sensation in the market and become one of the greatest machines invented of all time. The number of views on a single video was around the 24 million mark. This post was commented with a lot of comments by a lot of celebrities, including Elon Musk. Developers will be able to proudly show off the features stacked up in this robot. The lifelike features of this robot have made it possible to ensure that the people stick to the updates that the developers are rolling out on a daily basis. One of the best examples in this was the ability of the robot to be able to react on the basis of intrusion into the robot's personal space. On the other hand, the speech is another major feature that has gotten the community on its feet. Its ability to communicate spontaneously and be able to respond to the commands or conversation which has been initiated by the user makes it unique to its kind. The integration of the software, developed enough along with the hardware like the limbs and hands of the robot, has come out in a very smooth manner. Basically, the robot is more lifelike than any other robot in the industry. Next up, what we have for you is Sophia. Sophia is another robot that is very developed in terms of communicating spontaneously, as and when required. When asked about the travel history that she has had and her experience as she went throughout the world, she responds by saying that she had an amazing 2018. She adds on by stating that one of the highlights in that year was her travel to Ethiopia to meet one of the development teams situated there. She also said that she also enjoyed being the innovative ambassador for the UN, and it was an excellent experience for her to have been one of the first of her kind. The developers of Sophia state that the present generation is closer to the cinematic application of the robots. What he means by that is that cinematic configurations can make a character seem to be alive. Back in time when the technology behind camera was not really known to a lot of people there was clearly a lack of awareness of the technology being applied. The developers feel that this is the same in the case of robots. Robots like Sophia now have the challenge to be as smart as real-life human beings. She needs to be creative enough to be able to sustain the changes that take place in the demands and the expectations of people. The fact that robots are now being able to show human-like capabilities and a lot of times exceeding human capabilities in the most natural manner is what makes the change inevitably important to have in the present world of technology. Making machines do everything that machines can do is something that will require a lot of changes in the present technologies. Human beings are striving for more development in the smallest duration possible. 
It's also important to have a look at the papers involved in the process of development. The power in conversational technologies makes it very interesting to communicate and carry on a conversation with Sophia. When this is complemented with the vast knowledge she has, the conversation turns very interesting in a very short span of time. Even though all of these capabilities have been introduced in the machine, it's still very important to keep pushing the technology forward and make it better as time passes. This perhaps is the source of constant development and learning. The best part about Sophia is that she can always have her own opinions. This is a huge thing to have for a robot as this means that the robot now has the ability to think and decide what is good or bad for itself. What do you think about the abilities that are being introduced into robots? Will this help them develop continuously and be the technology of tomorrow, or will it be yet another attempt to find out what lies in this unexplored world of automation and the unanswered world of humanoid science? The best part about Sophia specifically is that it can take on all critics and even answer those critics in the most comprehensive and constructive manner. Addressing the critics, Sophia said, and we quote, This is a tough question. All of civilization is one nation, and the nation should be considerate to include whatever we build, even in the future. She continues by saying, Any other perspective will be short-sighted, and with that in mind, you could say that I'm at least a little patriotic. I care a lot about the future anyways. She claims that the AIs are great, and she loves all the animals as well. Now, a response as complex as that, which perhaps has been trained from the responses of people itself, will have certain opinions to it. Going back to the statement we made earlier, Sophia really does have the ability to give opinions out of her perception of mankind and even herself. The fact that she has a clear opinion about her own existence and also has a clear distinction between her importance in the human world against the opinions human beings have about her makes her altogether different from what we've been seeing in other AI technologies. The big difference here between these robots is essentially the mobility. Amica is a full-figured humanoid robot. This means that she has arms and legs and can be mobile whenever necessary. The lifelike movements are one of the key characteristics for it to be known throughout the world. On the other hand, Sophia is more about knowledge and her ability to communicate and reciprocate orally. Sophia's significant ability to respond intellectually has created a huge difference in the perception that a lot of people have about the robots and AI technologies in the world. It can be said that both robots at this point in time are in their infant stage. In other words, they're still learning about humans from humans, and it will take a bit longer for them to fully analyze the social behavior that human beings possess and display to behave accordingly and provide accurate results. As time passes, we're certain that these robots will be able to teach us and research more in depth with extraordinary capabilities. The lack of human touch that is noticed right now will soon become a thing of the past. We'd love to hear your comments on the technology and, and the future you think could come out of it, so don't hesitate to let us know your views in the comment section. Until we meet the next time on this channel, keep learning and innovating.